When will the next recession hit? Everyone wants to know, but that's not really a very good question. It is, however, very close to a very good question. I'm Dr. Bill Connerly, economist, consultant, and author of Bizonomics. Why is this not a good question? Because I cannot answer it. Ask me something I can help you with. And I'm not just being flippant. The entire economics profession is not very good at forecasting the next recession. And that's not just a statement about the past recession, it's a statement true over the last 50, 60 years. Uh, I don't know anybody who forecast the last recession and who was not forecasting doom and gloom every year for the last 20 years. There are some folks, broken records, uh, who are always pessimistic and they're right once per business cycle. The broken clock is right twice a day, the doom and gloomsters are right once per business cycle. So let me tell you what the really good question is. The really good question is this, I'm running a business, I'm not going to know when the next recession is coming ahead of time, but I want to manage the business to take advantage of the boom while it lasts, but also to survive the bust when it eventually comes. What do I do in that situation? So I want to go through a four-step process I've developed. Uh, I describe it in my book, Bizonomics, but if you listen here, you can save yourself $14.95 plus shipping and handling. Your first step is to evaluate your own vulnerability to recession. Not the economy's vulnerability, but your own, because different businesses and different industries are affected differently. Uh, and it's very important to be data-driven. First source of data for many businesses would be to look at what happened in this past recession. It was a doozy, and it will show you a very extreme case. I have on the uh, Bizonomics website data for many different industries going back to the 1950s that is formatted to show you what usually happens in that, in that particular industry in a recession. Be data driven. Uh, before the last recession I heard several businesses say, oh my business will do well in a recession, may even do better in a recession, and that is primarily hogwash and wishful thinking. After evaluating your own vulnerability to recession, it's time to develop an early warning system customized to your business. Now, the first and obvious thing to do is to look at your own sales, but sometimes you need to look beyond that. For instance, consider the person who sells shopping bags to Nordstrom's. That person should manage his or her own sales plus Nordstrom's sales, because if Nordstrom's sales turn down, the sale of shopping bags to Nordstrom's will definitely uh, go down. So look at the ultimate buyers. If there are economic factors in that decision making, you can track them. So if you are dependent on discretionary consumer spending, then watch things like disposable income of consumers, consumer confidence, and, and other measures. So you can have some economic factors in there, but not broad like GDP narrow and specific to the drivers of your own sales. For many businesses, sales reps could be a good source of information. And I say could be because very few businesses really take full advantage of what their sales reps know. In a good system, the sales reps are logging their uh, initial responses to inquiries, um, uh, meetings, proposals, as well as completed sales. And with this pipeline being monitored, you should be able to see a downturn coming even before the number of sales tickets completed declines. Uh, some companies will say, oh, that's just our sales reps whining. But in a good system, the management listens to their sales reps and encourage their, encourages their sales reps to develop a relationship with the customer so that the customer will honestly say, hey, things look a little bit dicey and that information gets passed on to management. So now you have evaluated your own vulnerability to recession and set up a customized early warning system. Your third step is the actual contingency plan. And if you do it my way, you're only allowed one sheet of paper. Uh, if you're a lone eagle, you can go to the bar or Starbucks of your choice with your uh, single sheet of paper, sketch out what you might do if things went bad, what actions you would take. 
uh, more valuable for folks in most businesses is to pull together the senior management team and uh, brainstorm on actions. You might also want to set up some uh, tentative decision rules. A decision rule is if sales drop 10 percent then we will cut uh, workers on the uh, production floor by 8 percent. Whatever your numbers are, have a trigger and then an action. As you do this, I think it's worthwhile starting with a very long list. When I meet with management teams and, and help them go through this process, I come in with a very long list that I've developed by talking to people from a lot of different industries. And plenty of items on the list won't be relevant, easy enough to cross them out, but it's important to start with a very long list of possible actions and then narrow down your contingency plan from there. You're almost done. You have evaluated your vulnerability to recession, set up a customized early warning system, sketched out a, a contingency plan. Now you're going to manage your business to maintain the flexibility to implement that contingency plan if necessary. And let me give you a family example of what I mean by uh, maintaining flexibility. My son came to me the other day and said, uh, Dad, uh, I can get a free cell phone. I said, a free cell phone? He says, yeah, it's been two years since I got my old cell phone, so I can get a new one for free. I'm like, no, 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 Tom, it's not free. And he says, yeah, it says right here it's free. No. In order to get the free cell phone, you have to commit to another two-year contract, which limits your flexibility to change carriers or to cut to a very uh, discounted plan. So it may be a good deal to get the new cell phone, but don't think of it as free. Think of yourself as having paid for it with loss of flexibility. On the business side, this happens all the time. Whether we hire people versus using contractors, whether we extend a real estate lease, debt versus equity, there are a whole host of business decisions that limit flexibility, and some of them are good decisions, but know when you do it that the price you pay is limiting your flexibility. Get ready for the next recession by following these four steps. Assess your vulnerability, develop a customized early warning system, sketch out a contingency plan, and then manage the business so that you have flexibility to implement that contingency plan if necessary. You can do it yourself, but if you'd be more comfortable having professional help, I'm a consultant as well as an economist, and I'd be delighted to come into your business. I'm Dr. Bill Connerly. Thanks for watching.